good morning friends so today i am going to discuss some problems which are based on organic spectroscopy and this type of problems are generally asked in the csr as well as gate examinations so in the first problem we have a three system and we have given three ir stretching curve so we have to match it right so let's say so this is a five member lactone system and as you all know that lactone for lactone system the ir stretching frequency for this co bond is 1770 now now for this system what happens here the oxygen lone pair takes part in conjugation this was uh, really the, exactly the same what happens in lactone but here we have a double bond beside the oxygen atom right so this oxygen lone pair will also take part in conjugation with this double bond so the extent of conjugation towards this carboxyl group decreases so as the extent of conjugation decreases so the stretching frequency of the co bond increases so it will be more than that of the lactone value so lactone we had uh, 1770 and for this system we will get uh, 1800 right okay now let's see we have this type of system where we have a conjugation oxygen conjugation and the extra conjugation is present here so we have a extra conjugation so this carbonyl undergoes uh, conjugation from both the sides that is from the oxygen conjugation as well as from the double bond conjugation and due to the more extent of conjugation in this type of system the co stretching frequency decreases than that of lactone so the value for this system will be 1750 so our answer is like p will be x uh, sorry y q will be z and r will be x right so this is how you have to do uh, this type of uh, problems now moving to the second one which is based on the ring size effect okay so as you know if you want to make smaller rings it requires more p character right to form the cc bond because uh, in sp hybridization the bond angle is 180 degree for sp2 which is more uh, so the bond angle is um, 120 degree and for the sp3 it is around uh, 109 degree right okay now so as the cc bond uh, formation requires more p character so uh it will uh, make the uh, it will uh, make the cc double bond uh, give a more s character so the cc double bond will get more s character and thus strengthening the cc double bond right so if you have a smaller rings the cc double bond cc exo double bond will have a higher stretching frequency so here yeah, the order will be 3 greater than 2 greater than 1 right now moving on to the uh, third problem so the third problem is based on urwart fisher rule and we have given the value the base value of 1 3 beta i as 270 nanometer okay so this is the chromophores and the uh, oxochromic groups we have the oxochromic group values are given like alkyl we have to add plus 5 for exo double bond we have to add plus 5 and additional conjugation plus 30 right so we have a system uh so let's say this is our 13 beta line system right so its base value is 270 nanometer so Uh, from this picture you can predict 
that due to extra conjugation the energy will decrease that means the wavelength will increase that is it will shift it will be a red shift or bathochromic shift right so now we have a butadiene system which has base value of 270 nanometer right now we have given this values now here we have an extra conjugation right this is the extra conjugation for the extra conjugation our value is given as 30 plus 30 so we'll add it plus 30 right now we have a ring residue the alkyl residue so this is one residue this part is a residue this is one residue and this is one residue so we have a uh, four residue so for four residue so four multiplied by five that is plus 20 right now we have exo double bond right so with respect to this six member ring we have one exo double bond and another one exo double bond so with respect to this ring we have two exo double bond and with respect to this ring we have one exo double bond so in total we have three exo double bond so for three exo double bond we are getting a value of 50 so just add it so you will get 282 nanometer right so from here you can see that for one C butadiene system we have a 270 nanometer so if we apply some extra conjugation in the system so there will be a bathochromic shift or red shift that means wavelength will increase right okay now uh, we have another problem based on NMR a spectroscopy just to predict the delta value right this question also came in net i think in december 15 so we have here are methyl groups right so this system is called methanol Okay. Fine. Now the question was asked like the predict the values uh, for the predict the delta values of these methyls. Let's say marked it as one and two. Okay. So you can see these two methyl are in a different environment, right? So they are not equal. Okay. So this methyl is above the this part is above the ring. And these two methyl groups, two CH2 groups, are not in the same environment. Okay. This this methyl group is more shielded than this methyl group because we have a double bond over here. Right. So this methyl group is shielded. Whereas this methyl group is deshielded. Right. It's not shielded. So as you know, for a methyl group, uh, the delta value is around one point something. Right. So uh, in this case, for this one, one, one methyl, for this one methyl, the delta value is say 1.33, and it is singlet, right, and three hydrogen. So three hydrogen, singlet, singlet because no adjacent uh, hydrogen is there, and 1.33 is the value. And this methyl is also singlet. 3 hydrogen but the value will be the delta value will be less than this okay because it is shielded by the electron cloud so it will be around 0.74 right so this is a very easy uh, problem but just you have to predict whether the whether both the methyl groups are in same environment or in different environment so for delta value if we have a methyl groups or any other groups in the same environment, then they will have a same value, delta value. But if they have, uh, they are present in different environment, like in this case, so uh, they will have a different value. So the more the shielding, uh, shielded methyl group, so lesser will be the delta value, right? So in this video, I discussed uh, basically on uh, IR. I discussed two problems on IR. 
uh, one on UV and one small problem on NMR. So in the upcoming videos, uh, I will uh, upload some, I will uh, solve some problems uh, based on the structure determination in uh, NMR spectroscopy, using NMR spectroscopy. So, hope you like this video and thanks for watching.